Okay, so The Rock against John Cena, or if you're a pro Cena fan, John Cena against The Rock, or if you were Vince McMahon, a bunch of dollar signs will just pop <laughs> right now, I guess. <laughs> money, 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 money. Maybe if you're money, 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 too, money. if you're The Rock too, you need The money. Rock and a bunch of dollar signs or something. Uh, this match, um, hmm. All right, let me get this out of the way. Cena's winning. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I think it's gonna be The Rock. Yep. Really? Huh. Yep. I'm gonna have a little I, bit. As of... much as I want Cena to go over, it's gonna be The Rock. Hmm. Weird. I believe it'll be me. I win. <laughs> the fan. Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels comes down and wins. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. fucking here for that. That'd be awesome. He just comes. He ends up just... by super kicking the both of them and goes, "I win! I win!" Gets a bunch of crotch chops and. <laughs> Should have been me versus The Rock. Oh, God, yes. It was me, Austin! <laughs> <laughs> so, this match is going to be one of those matches that no matter how bad it is, nobody, if they're in the cave fabe sense, or if they're just in the complete Mark sense, or even if they're in the smart sense, where they're just talking about, oh, it's two greats going at it, nobody is going to talk bad about this match. They're oh, going to yeah. say maybe at the most that it didn't live up to its expectations. No, it and that's was, about it. It would be. It's one of those matches I have. Co- I'm going to be going in this with this thing with low expectations. Low expectations. So low, it's really, really low. <laughs> it's How really low is it? <laughs> Jinx, that was awesome. It's so oh, low. Yeah, that's great. Uh, it could literally be hiding in the gutter with tramps. Um, <laughs> basically, I know, you know, everyone knows my feelings on this match and the build towards this match. If the build was better, I would probably be sitting there going, Yay! Rock kicks in his ass! Yay! Say yay, dinner. Yay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and I would literally Aww. just be going ape for this match, but. The fact is, the build was wrong. The fact that The Rock's been sitting there going with his poo-poo and caca jokes that aimed at children literally younger than my daughter. It just doesn't... It it doesn't seem like the biggest match of the decade for me. You know, it it just seems like it's going to be a complete and utter waste of time. Hmm. I think it'll be... I think it'll be decent at the very least. I mean, it might be a good match. You would, Tony. You but <laughs> Mister, let's put the championship on John Cena. No, yeah, I'm not saying we should. Say Vince McMahon will. Yeah, Tony. I, I'm calling it. Vince, Cena's winning Vince the title. Vince soon. is in your head, isn't he, Tony? He is. Isn't he? It was him. It was him all along. Yeah, it was me, Austin. Um, You're gonna find yeah. out that uh, Smack Talk and the whole Smart Out moment brand is gonna be a part of WWE Network, and I've just been inching my way into YouTube for their fucking benefit. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be hawking WWE products. But even worse, it turns out that it's the absolute reverse. He's actually peddling for TNA. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't even joke about that. That's a Vince <laughs> Russo spin. God, that's horrible. My middle name is Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> He takes off his mask. He's like, Vince Russo comes in and joins us. Yeah, hi, Uncle Vince. No! And oh, I'm out. I was Mike about <laughs> the idea about, you know, putting the title on Cena, and, and I'll be crying. So, yeah, I, I do actually expect this to be halfway decent. I think that they could put on a good match. Um, more so, The Rock can put on a good match, <laughs> and Cena can kind of follow suit. But I think this is definitely going to be one of those things. I think it's the reverse. Do you think Cena's the better one of the two? I think Cena's the better one of the two. Uh, I don't know know. why. Why? You want to know why? Why? You want to know why? No. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I know why. Uh, Basically, think about it. It doesn't matter why. (laughs) (laughs) John Cena literally has had so many years of experience in WWE. He's had the crowd in the palm of his hands for years. The Rock probably comes in, does a couple of like few moves, what we the nip up, the rock bottom, 
the people's elbow. And you can't even hold a fucking promo. Excuse my language, sweetie. Can't even hold a <laughs> promo. Uh, I just forgot that I had the little one here with me. Bad parent. <laughs> you can't even hold a promo without saying the words poo poo, car car, and also reading off a damn Titan Tron. At the two, the better one is Cena. He can wrestle, he can talk. Suddenly sounds like they're listening to events. Mm-hmm. You know, and also. <laughs> He has a lot more going on for him in terms of his ability. You know, Cena's always been the better worker. You know, if this was Rock and Cena versus CM Punk, I'd sit there and say, yeah, both those guys are awful. Punk's amazing. But that's the truth. You know, look, Cena, um, if you, he's the only guy who can actually go into an ECW pay per view, try, you know, and, and work the crowd as a heel. He's the, the guy that literally has always gone into certain situations where he can play dual roles, where the rock, even when he's trying to be the heel, he will say some funny jokes. So you're thinking this is going to kind of boil down to Cena playing up his booze and rock. Definitely. If, if rock does get some booze, which he won't, that it'll kind of throw him off. If Cena has a certain role that needs to be played, he'll play it. The only reason that he's not playing it at the moment is because the WWE doesn't want him to. Mm-hmm. That's the reason. What, you think they're going to tell him ahead of time to kind of follow suit with the match? Yeah, like, well, call it out there? Or are you gonna... They'll say to him, "The Rock, this is The Rock's crowd. There is no way in hell that you're going to get over with this. So you basically need to play the heel. And that's I what hope, he's going to do. I hope that they have the foresight to do that. Because he should. I mean, if he's clearly going to be the heel in this match. Yeah, I don't know. They were be up. acting like asses late, earlier. They were saying it was going to be a 50-50 crowd like Hogan and Rock. He could and... be kissing people. Cena could literally bend over and allow himself to get shafted and still get heat from the crowd. Mm-hmm. You know, so there's no way in heck that Cena is actually going to be playing the face. So he, he needs to play the heel. And the thing is, he's damn good at doing it. It's like we saw a bit of it at the um, at the Raw two weeks ago when he did the whole thugonomics thing, you know, the yeah the, the doctor rock and roll thing. Um, Cena came in, he cut a totally heel promo, didn't give a monkeys about what anybody else thought, just did his thing and left. Well, and I'm feeling that's, fun. that's the Cena we want to see. We want to see badass Cena. We don't want to see oh I love you all. But I know that you all hate my guts. I have a feeling we'll see the Cena that we saw at ECW one night stand against Van yeah. Dam. Walks yeah. in very quiet, very stern. Not the whole like coming out and pumping the crowd. Goes down to the ring and puts on a hell of a match. And I- I'm actually pulling for Cena in this, but I really think it's going to go to The Rock in the end. Because yeah. if The Rock wins, it builds more to the feud. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. Because it would just say Cena could just come out the next <laughs> night and be like, well, that was a fluke. Like, come on, you've done one match in 10 years. Um, you got lucky. Let's do it again to make it real. And then Cena would win one, and then whoever went the third match would most likely go to Cena just to put him over. But See, I'm kind of expecting him to be a little a little less John Cena, but not necessarily like that level, because it's going to be WrestleMania, so he's going to be pumped up. You know he's going to have uh, a big entrance, and he's going to bolt down to the ring and... <laughs> He's going to hold his hands up and wait for the right part of the song, like that kind of stuff. I'm expecting that to happen. I'm definitely, another thing I'm definitely expecting is for there to be at least like a three minute window where they're just standing there looking at each other before the match starts. That will probably happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I can't blame them. I would do it too because you're going to have people going crazy in the arena. Yeah. uh, Unless you just followed the Hell in a Cell match and then they're going to be exhausted. But nah, they're going to be the divas or something like that's going to be before this it should be at the very least um as far as that 50 50 thing going total bullshit uh if you check the poll that's on smart out moment right th- right now on the website i've had it up for about a month uh i didn't want to put it up too far ahead of time when they announced rock against cena just because i didn't want to but uh <laughs> i put it up enough ahead of time that the feud wasn't really as hot as it is right now 
And right now, as I'm looking at the poll results, there are 62 votes. There are 21 votes for The Rock and 41 for John Cena, who they think is going to win. So this 50-50 thing is ridiculous. It's WWE trying desperately for you to cheer for John Cena. And I'm kind of expecting that to be one of those things that might put a hindrance on this match. I think that they are so uh, stubborn about the John Cena thing that even though they're willing to do a couple things here and there where they release like a Cena sucks t-shirt or they, now that they acknowledge the Cena sucks thing. And a couple months ago, all they would do is say, Oh, well, nobody evokes the crowd more than John Cena. And then a couple months before that, they didn't say shit. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like, they're easing their way into accepting the fact that John Cena just doesn't have everybody behind him. But I think that that's going to put a little hindrance on them because they're going to be too stubborn to admit that a hundred percent in this match. So I'm expecting, I'm expecting the rock to get his shit in there and it to be kind of 50, 50 throughout the whole match, because I'm sure rock's not going to just want to make this a squash match. And that would be ridiculous if they did, but I'm definitely thinking that John Cena is coming out here with not only the win, but that he's also going to get some kind of a push in the process. And that's why I mentioned the whole thing about possibly Jericho winning and then dropping the title. La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> I think that right now that la, 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 it's what WWE is going to do with John Cena. Ah, I think yeah. The pay-per-view is going to end with John Cena getting booed out of the building. But everybody on commentary going, oh, John Cena, yeah, like, oh, he's the best and all this kind of stuff. And John Cena coming out on Raw and them thinking, yeah, John Cena's going to beat The Rock, and then everybody's going to be a fan of him, and it's not going to happen. I think that they're going to take the DVD, and they're going to fucking edit the DVD, and they're just going to be like, no, let's just get rid of these boos and make it some cheers, and I'm thinking that they're they're going to miss an opportunity here to do what they should do, and that's, I think, the John Cena heel turn. Uh, there's rumblings about a whole rematch, or possibly two rematches, where they could do like John Cena wins at WrestleMania, then they have another match at SummerSlam, and then another match at WrestleMania, and that's the third match to break the bond. I hope not. Uh, I want to see these two face each other and then never again. Partially, once in a be lifetime. <laughs> yeah, partially because they keep advertising it as once in a lifetime, never before, never again, that kind of stuff. Mm. I do not want to see these two face each other again at WrestleMania next year. No, no, no. God, no. I don't want them. I want to see Punk Austin. Yeah, I want to see Punk Austin. I want to see uh, Triple H versus Michaels, something like that. I don't want to see Rock against Cena again. I wouldn't mind if Rock participated in WrestleMania, and John Cena has to. I mean, it's, you know, he's the top guy in the company, but not together. Um, so I'm thinking what they're going to do here is they're going to do what's going to piss a lot of people off that want to see a rematch, but they'll do something kind of like, well, all right, skipping uh, around a little bit here. How many times does the rock hit the rock bottom and Cena kicks out? We think like three. Yeah. That sounds like a good number. How many times does John, you're saying two for that. How many times does John Cena hit the attitude adjustment and the rock kick out? I'm going with two on that. No, I'm saying three or four. Hmm. Well, you know why? Because if Rock's going to have Cena going over him, he's got to look superhuman. Mm-hmm. I think I think that moment's going to come with a big STF that he gets out of. Uh, I think the John Cena's going to ask, they're going to steal each other's moves, too. Yeah. I can see them doing that, yeah. I can see, at the very least, the Rock's going to do the You Can't See Me. Uh, and I'm going to cry after I've died little inside. <laughs> But I can see them doing a the whole switch up between the five knuckle shuffle and uh, um, people's elbow. Mm-hmm. I could see Cena could pull off doing a rock bottom. Uh, yeah. You know, you're going to see a lot of these moves that they typically do, which isn't really like, you know, a surprise. You, you have to throw in your finishing moves and all that kind of stuff in a match like this. So if they didn't, I would be curious why. And I'd be complaining saying, why didn't the rock do 
a, a sharpshooter during the match, and why didn't John Cena hit his uh, leg drop? And you know, like they have to do these kind of things. Um, but I'm hoping that they just kind of they figure out a different way to do it. I don't want to just see repetitive kicks out kickouts out of finishers. I want to um, see Rock stunner John Cena. <laughs> yeah, I'll just throw other people's finishers into this fucking uh, the bonsai drop and uh, <coughs> John Cena does a fucking spear in the middle of it, like <laughs> pedigree. <laughs> right? Yeah. Just, well, you can't do that because then Triple H will fire you. <laughs> <laughs> just walks out in the middle of the match. No, it's over. Right. It went too far. <laughs> but um. Yeah, so I, I'm expecting this match to be that uh, that kind of a match. And then at the very end, John Cena hits another attitude adjustment or something like that, gets a pin on The Rock, and then they do the kind of handshake thing. Oh, you've won my respect, John Cena. Well, you've won my respect to The Rock because you really brought it to me, and that means that you're here to stay and all this kind of... You really do love the business, that kind of a thing. And then I would love for Cena just to pull away his hand and go, you can't see me, and then roll out of the ring. Right. Something like that I would love to see happen. Either they do the handshake thing, and then he gives them another fucking attitude adjustment, or something like that where they could do a heel turn like that. But they're not going to do it because they're pussies about this. Mm-hmm. And because Cena just caught that promo about how he's not going to fucking turn heel. Mm-hmm. But that would be great if that was a setup for the heel turn. Of, ah, okay. you all fucking didn't think I would. <laughs> like... It'd be a huge moment too that would you would just see repetitively over and over again if they were getting ready for the handshake and he just does that you can't see me. Mm-hmm. It would be shown on like every single promo about WrestleMania 28 or even in the opening sequence too. Right. It's it's a huge moment and I they're gonna blow it. <laughs> so I do expect it to be a decent match. I do expect it to be one of those matches that no matter what people are gonna talk about it as one of the best matches ever. Uh, everybody's going to talk about about it being the best match of the night. It's going to win um, match of the year uh, for everybody for the most part. It might not win match of the year for me because I'm not Mm-mm. always, uh, you know, I'm I'm the one that gave it to Ziggler against Brian instead of Triple H, uh, HBK versus Undertaker for WrestleMania 26. But I know you see, Tony Mango back then was a fair. And just an honest Tony Mango. <laughs> Instead of this guy. <laughs> the guy who drinks Cena Kool-Aid now. Yeah. Can you look at yourself when you wake up in the morning? <laughs> John Cena is a better sports entertainer than Daniel Bryan. I'll say yeah. it. No. No. I did not say wrestler. Just, just, uh... <laughs> you don't. You dare. <laughs> yes 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 damn straight <laughs> so yeah uh this is gonna be one of those matches that people talk about for a really long time even if it sucks <laughs> and uh who knows maybe I'll we'll be, talk about how it sucks i'll be talking about how much it sucks because it's gonna suck just like the miz and cena when that headlined wrestlemania 27 that sucked that blew like a leaf blower blowing through your hedges when it comes to mania, I really turn off the asshole uh, dirt sheet reader and go into kid mode. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> like of everything least. is like mystical and it's great, but guarantee you Monday morning I'll tell you how much it sucks. But <laughs> in that moment, it's going to be like, oh my god, I, I do it every year. Yeah, I'm going to get a text message of, oh my god, dude, Rock and Cena was awesome, and then it'll be like, uh, you know, seven hours later. Well, I mean, they could have done this. <laughs> and be like, the, the following smack talk will just be like ragging on the fucking match left. <laughs> yeah. I should record your. Uh... Hell, you know what? You've got an iPhone. Record yourself during uh, <laughs> WrestleMania, and I'll throw parts of that into the next episode of Smack Talk. Oh you, my God! You'd see, <laughs> you would actually see that like, um, Chris Day is just standing going. Ah! It's going to be sad, too, because if it's seen as music that hits and I'm doing this, I'm never going to live it down. <laughs> Record it if you can, and I'll put it up, and everybody can either laugh or <laughs> laugh at you or with you. <laughs> okay, to anybody that attends WrestleMania and you see Chris Dace, I'll post a picture up on you on my Facebook or whatever, you know, just to show what he looks like, or we'll post it on, on this episode of Smack Talk. Bang, if bang. you see him, get your camera phone out. 
<laughs> do a video of him girling out to Cena's music, <laughs> and you have a chance to win a prize. And if anybody wants to, for any event, which I've said over and over again now, if you bring a smart out moment sign and you take any kind of a picture or you're on camera or fucking anything like that, even if you're not on camera and you just bring a sign and you show me a picture of yourself standing there with a smart out moment sign, one of the segments I will be adding onto the show is called Sign Me Up. It's a part of the inter- internet wrestling community outreach segment that I have. Fun little pun there. Uh... I will put you on the show, your picture. I will even try to get you on Smack Talk for the audio itself. We do this through Skype, so all you got to do is get a Skype account and a microphone. Um, If you're at WrestleMania and you see Dave or something like that, say hello. Don't bug him too much because he's not me where I'll just be like, yeah, just come sit on my fucking lap and cut a promo. (laughs) Because Tony likes it when people sit on his lap. I do, I do. And they like when I wear my Wolverine jacket. He's like Ross in Friends, where he goes, "Come here to me." Yeah, that says it to kids as well. (laughs) Come here to me. But uh, yeah, if you're at WrestleMania and you bring a smart camp movement sign, you'll be on the show. Just let me know that you did. Uh, Any uh, any kind of a thing like that going on? Just let me know, and we'll figure out some way to thank you or whatever. Maybe hold a contest or something like that. You guys feel that i am the best at this show you know that i'm the most amazing character and smart <laughs> smart out moment um, and you need me to replace tony mango <laughs> leave a comment because I, I feel his judgment has just gone down the toilet <laughs> and brian sucks uh, so is this like a, a race throw my i want to throw my hands yeah. <laughs> better than burhan <laughs> <laughs> hey you know what i don't care if, if it's dace replacing him then fine <laughs> You know, oh. as long as we don't have any more of this John Cena Kool Aid stuff going on, it'll be the Zack yeah. Ryder show. Exactly. Woo woo woo. Yeah, I'd rather have, I'd I'd rather have, have Zack Ryder, Ryder against The Rock than John Cena. <laughs> I would book it that way. I would. <laughs> he should have been facing Tinder this year. Zack Ryder, Tony. What's your problem with Zack? Hmm? <laughs> What's going on? I miss that. What, do you have a problem with Zack Ryder, Tony? Is that what it is? Awesome. <laughs> huh? Get your Brian's you when I have a problem with. <laughs> <laughs> All right, punk's overrated. So <laughs> I will make sure that Ashley punches you in the face the next time she sees you. Pretty sure she would agree with me, but uh... <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm friending both of you. <laughs> All Final, predict- bashing. Final predictions of The Rock against John Cena, Mike. Nice. Why should I give you a prediction? Why, Tony? Okay. Um... <laughs> My prediction is that it's going to suck ass and Cena will win. Dace? Uh, I think Rock's walking out with the win. It's very hard to leave Miami without giving the people what they want. Match quality, 1 to 10? Um, I'll give it a 7. The, the Rock looked really good in Survivor Series, and I think Cena's bringing his A game. He's not going to get upstaged by The Rock, so it's going to be a lot. I think the whole show is going to be like that. They're not going to get upstaged by The Rock, so they're going to put on 110%. I'm going to say, final prediction, John Cena wins. I'm going to go into it pissed off because they're going to waste way too much time during WrestleMania to promote it. They're going to do at least a, a, like 10 minutes worth of fucking let's recap their feud. They're going to do at least at least two backstage interview things. Rock's going to waste five, 10 minutes cutting himself a promo about the same shit. Cena's going to waste five, 10 minutes talking about how he's here every day and all this kind of stuff. We've seen it all before. We've heard it all before. They're going to waste as much fucking time as possible. They're also going to waste a lot of time with a, a giant fucking entrance with MGK and uh, Flo Rida. Flo Rida. <laughs> fucking waste. It just get the old Hollywood rock theme and John Cena's theme and do it that way. Um, yeah, because you're such a Cena supporter. Tony. <laughs> <laughs> but the... Uh, I'm expecting the match to be decent at the very least, if not good, not great. Um, best match of the night is going to be the world, the WWE title match. Second best match of the night is going to be the Hell in a Cell match. Third best match of the night is probably going to be Rock and Cena. Um, what about the four? Number four? Uh, number Daniel four? Bryan. Yeah, you Daniel know Bryan. Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan. 
Suck my dick. That is I, I I can see number four being the World Heavyweight Championship match. Um, number five, I think probably Orton Kane. Or no, you know, number five, the uh, Orton Kane, please. The Team Laurinaitis against Team uh, Teddy match. There you go. Number six, Orton Kane. Number seven, Cody against Big Show. Number eight. <laughs> Um, number eight, the supposed possible squash match with Brutus Clay. Oh, God, I hope he comes out. I love dancing to his theme. It's so much fun. And then yeah, number the nine is... doesn't really qualify, but that's the deepest match. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be non-charting. So uh, I'm looking forward to Mania. Not as much as Dace will be. Damn it. Uh, woo, woo, woo. I will be uh, doing... The rest of the this episode or the whole episode, however I'm breaking it up, for uh, Friday night's show. If Dace is going to be a part of it, then Dace will join us. Brahan's going to be a part of it, of course. Braden, who was absent today because he had stuff he had to do, um, and I decided to record this a little earlier than normal. And ladies and gentlemen, I'll be hosting Friday's show. <laughs> the I will tie Tony Mango up and tape his mouth shut. The uh, predictions that Braden has for WrestleMania, I'll cover that for Friday. We'll also do our hot tags and our Ask Him. We will do... Um... And we're going to do our first official human sacrifice on air. Sorry, Tony. Good thing I'm not going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. I don't mind sacrificing you. No, no. I'm sacrificing <laughs> you to the wrestling gods. <laughs> you mean John Cena? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, Tony. Damn you. So we will be covering all that kind of stuff. We will be covering the hottest uh, divas and knockouts tournament and whatever the else happens. Uh, but that's it for this either special edition or the first section of this show. And um, looking forward to your responses for who you think is going to win these matches. Put them in the comments. Go to the smartoutmoment.com website and see what you. Uh, agree or disagree with under everybody else's predictions make sure to follow the live review and results f- uh, coverage links below for that as well Mango 2012 <laughs> <laughs> and this guy's uh, worse than Coney <laughs> <laughs> Tony 2012 <laughs> uh, make sure to check out the show and um, I don't like know him on Facebook. Oh, follow God. him on Twitter Actually, you know what? Unlike him on Facebook, <laughs> unfollow him on Twitter, <laughs> and just spit on him when he walks across the street. Go back to all his other shows and leave nasty comments. <laughs> <laughs> so we all see you next week, and this has been one more Smart Out moment. We're being counted out. See you next time.